The increase in the monetary policy rate follows an emergency monetary policy committee meeting held by the Bank of Ghana on August 17, 2022 to review recent developments in the economy and assess the risk to the country's economic outlook. The rate, which is of keen interest to businesses, signals the rate at which the central bank lends to commercial banks. It is also used by banks to calculate their base rates. In a statement issued by the Bank of Ghana, it attributed the increase in the rate to the continuous increase in the rate of inflation an acceleration in the pace of the depreciation of the city, as well as two downgrades of the economy from two international ratings agencies. Commenting on the central bank's recent decision, economist Dr. Patrick Isuming noted that the increase was expected. I think from the very moment you saw the announcement that they are going to have this emergency meeting, you could tell what was coming, that they were going to raise the policy rate. It was a matter of how, you know, how much. Well, we can that they've done 300 basis points. I think best case scenario, this will give us some, the city some temporary relief. I think, I'm not sure that this policy rate hike does anything to resolve the underlying factors that are responsible for the city's recent sharp depreciation. Indeed, you know, some point in the report, they explain that, they explain the factor that is driving the, so thankfully, they, made, they, they were clear that it wasn't just external factor, but there's both domestic and external factor. It's not clear to me how this rate hike will address any of these underlying causes that they themselves identified. I think you can understand. Raising the rate will ensure that the, we are sort of compensating holders of our bonds for the for the loss when the currency depreciates. But that that is that will only give us a temporary relief, I'm afraid. Economist with GCB Capital, Karaj Boti, who sides with Dr. Patrick Assuming, explains to City Business News the impact of the Bank of Ghana's decision on businesses in the country. Definitely, um, and it is the reason Bank of Ghana held back on a rate hike, I believe, in July. Because um, already growth outlook is seen. We saw 3.3 in quarter one, and then, then government has had expenditure in discretionary spending by about 30. Then there is the Ukraine-Russia uh, situation, and its impact on growth and of course resource inputs and all of that plus the inflation depleting the real purchasing power of, of individuals and consumers in general so all of these will affect gain demand and by sanction growth in the economy now that we have had to resume a policy rate high because um, inflation is, uh, is under threat again and exchange rate is, uh, is under uh, uh, is, is having problems at the moment, it brings back the question of impact on growth. And yes, growth could be impeded. Cost of credit is higher now for businesses or even government. Um, already, interest rate for government are about 30%, uh, which is very punitive, more than two times how we started the year. So it further worsens the, the cost of debt situation and it even increases the interest cost, uh, for government further for the rest of the year.